Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing, and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge, and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on the internet. Each week, I interview an industry expert on a single topic. We encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Felix Leboy, the President and General Manager at Sabre Hospitality Solutions. Felix is a well-respected expert in the travel industry as he pioneered the development and integration of many hospitality internet marketing best practices and solutions. These solutions and best practices are today replicated and embraced industry-wide. Felix founded eSite Marketing in 1999, the first internet marketing company specializing in online business solutions exclusively for the hospitality industry and was named one of the top 25 extraordinary sales and marketing minds of 2008 by the Hospitality Sales and Marketing Association International. Felix, thank you for joining us and welcome to VTV. Thank you, John. Good to be here. Today's topic, uh, to merchandise or not, uh, uh, is what we'll discuss. And um, let me uh, start off the question uh, this way, Felix. Uh, I read an article recently where the chairman of Sabre Holdings stated that airlines need to appoint a chief merchandising officer in order to bring a better level of creativity in actually marketing many of the add-on services online or on board airlines. We have also heard from many industry and subject matter experts within the travel industry that hotels need to learn from online retailers on how to better merchandise their hotels to travel shoppers. From your perspective as president of Sabre Hospitality Solutions and one of the pioneers in e-business for the hospitality industry, what is your view on this concept of merchandising online for hotels? Well, first of all, we've had lots of people applying for that job once Sam announced it. <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I think in terms of online, online merchandising, it's, it's really about getting the you know, hotels information out throughout the different distribution channels um, you know, equally. So I think in, in that sense, we're really trying to say to a hotel uh, what packaging, what offering, what branding is, is out there in the marketplace and is it consistent in all the online channels. So what, what do you think realistically uh, hotels can do in order to um, ensure that that information that they're giving to the travel shopper, well, let's first, let's start with what type of information do you think that hotels should be leveraging in order to get in front of that travel shopper? Well, I, I think it's, it's a, probably about the you know, offerings that that property has. So in terms of online, we want to make sure, I would say if I was a hotel, I want to make sure that my you know, my rate parity is out there, my content parity, that, that we have content parity out in the distri different distribution channels, that my hotel's branding messaging is out there uh, and consistent across all the channels. How good a job do you think hotels are doing on being able to get that out in a consistent manner these days? You know, I think it's, I think, John, I think they're doing a better job than they have been in the past. I think based on the you know, current economic situation, hotels are really working hard to make sure that they're focused on, on this situation. And I think they've done a much better job than in the past. One example would be is that I, I think in the past, hotels would probably just say, well, I'm going to have my information out there and I'm going to just hope that it's going to be out in the channels that I need it to be. Now they're being much more focused and looking at the channels, checking with their partners and making sure that all that information is readily available across the channels and that they're spending more time in upgrading that information and making sure that it's best uh, you know, presented to the customer. Right, what, what, if I were a hotelier, what would my um, realistic outcome, what would you suggest my realistic outcome would be if I was to better merchandise myself uh, in, in, a, in the way that you're describing? Well, obviously, I, I would say that they make more money, uh, you know, and that's what we all want as, as businesses. We want to make more money. But I also think that they'll be 
better positioned, let's say, against their competitive set if, if they do follow those, those rules. And by better positioned, how do, how do you mean by that? Uh, are they um, able to take advantage of perhaps uh, uh, higher uh, daily rates than other hotels if, if they could use uh, um, a con- or leverage content to better merchandise themselves? Sure. I mean, I think, I think in the sense of if, if, if a property is well merchandised, if you will, online and all of their information, whether it's the content, whether it's the rates, uh, whether it's their, you know, the offerings that they have in particular to that hotel are optimized, right? Then I would say that they would have an opportunity to be, uh, to have, you know, higher revenues than their uh, competitive set. They'd have better exposure online. I think, you know, some of the items might be in terms of social media, uh, that they might be better positioned in the social media world as a result of of having that information out to all those channels. You know, the social media area is certainly an area that uh, many hotels are focused on these days. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, it really brings that whole content equation into really two buckets. Uh, That uh, content that you can control and that content that you can't control. Um, Would there be any counsel that you would provide to hotels on how they can actually leverage those two types of contents and do they work together? Uh, can you use one to leverage the other? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think what social media has brought to the table, John, is that uh, you know, in the past you would look at uh, investing, let's say, in advertising, traditional advertising, and then you, you would expect a certain level of exposure uh, as a result of that investment in your advertising. You might count the the results, right, by did I get phone, more phone calls? Did I get more leads as a result of that advertisement? Um, you know, did, did people recognize, did my consumers recognize that, that advertisement in a magazine or a newspaper? Whereas with social media, it's a little trickier, I think, in the sense that uh, we like to call it that it's more of an engagement metric. Are, are consumers engaging in your social media? So are they following you on the social media uh, you know, platforms? And, and then you would look at it that way. You would measure the results from an engagement metric. You know, are, they, uh, are they contacting your hotel? Are they forwarding the information to uh, a fellow coworker or a friend? That means that they're getting much more engaged in your product. And that's really important because at the end of the day, that means that they're much more tied to your community and, and hopefully will then, uh, you know, utilize your services, talk, you know, recommend your services to someone else. And, and it's a much more uh, personal connection that, that you get than just putting an advertisement in a magazine. If I were, let me ask you, if I were a hotel, um, and, and I get the sense from you that uh, uh, the ability to merchandise yourself isn't necessarily a costly venture to, to get involved in. Are there uh, any um, uh, top couple of tips that you would give to a hotelier as to what the focus their efforts on uh, in, uh, in the types of contents that is out there uh, to merchandise themselves? Sure. Oh, gosh. I, I would say, you know, there, there are lots of different, different items that I would mention, but I, I would probably say that from, from an online perspective, the first thing you want to make sure is that you've got the basics, right? So you've got, is your website... Um, optimize in terms of not only from the search engine perspective so that consumers can find you, uh, but also is it, is it optimized in terms of the content? Do you have the right information that your consumers might be looking for? So if you're a predominantly group hotel, is the content on the website group related? Do you have enough content on there so that a meeting planner can, can find what they're looking for, whether it's via search or whether it's just coming to your website? Uh, so making sure that the website is is optimized in all senses of the word. Uh, make sure that the website is also refreshed on a regular basis. You know, sometimes we forget about our own, uh, you know, our own brand, if you will, uh, and and we don't take care of upgrading that website to make sure that the the content, the image, the images, the videos, the you know, the rich media that's on there is is as good as it can be and up to date. I would say also in terms of, uh, in addition to the website, um, you would also want to make sure that your 
social media uh, strategy is that you have a social media strategy. A lot of times we get a call from customers saying, well, I want to be on Twitter. I want to be on Facebook. But what we really want to encourage our customers is what is your overall plan? You know, what is your overall social media plan? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the plan. Let's let's then make an action plan to follow your plan and to make sure that we reach your goals as opposed to just doing what everyone else is doing because that's sort of the thing to do. Uh, I, I would also say that um, you know other other important points are to make sure that your uh, your sort of ancillary services are promoted in a way that uh, that more people know about them. So. Uh, if if you're a consumer and you're staying at a at a hotel, wouldn't it be great to make sure that you get all their information up front before you arrive? And are you is the hotel giving them uh, that kind of communication? So if I'm arriving next week, do I know that the hotel has a particular event going on during that week that I'm staying there? Is is the restaurant having a particular promotion? Is the spa having a particular promotion? What's going on in the local community that I can take advantage of? And so that that way the hotel is really promoting um, to that individual consumer and, and that consumer will, will end up having a better experience if they have all that information before the stay. That's great, uh, Felix. It sounds uh, like a, a consistent theme that we've had come across in VTV and that it's really the ability to be able to leverage content to start that experience journey that uh, travel shoppers have with a hotel even before they, uh, they arrive at that hotel. Yeah. Um, we would like to thank you very much for uh, coming to uh, VTV with us today and sharing your insights, and we look forward to having you back. Thank you, John. It's been my pleasure. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.